What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's show, we're going to go ahead and unbox and set up this bad boy right here. This is the Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition. Now this comes equipped with a 10th generation i7-10875H, a 4K touch display, 32GB of RAM, a 1TB NVMe SSD drive, the Quadro RTX 5000 GPU, and is running Windows 10 Professional. So let's unbox it. Got the uh, power adapter here. With a cord and the brick. Now a box inside of a box. Let me just pull this right out. Got it right here. And let's take a look and see what came inside with it. Now it's nice uh, black on black says for gamers by gamers. Say thank you for choosing a razor system. A congratulations card and looks like the standard quick start guide here for this particular model a couple of stickers and a cleaning cloth ever wonder why manufacturers put stickers like this in with some of their products it's not to market them it's actually a hidden performance tweak that you can go ahead and install on any computer that's running slow just by affixing it to the case you can get up to 5% virtual horsepower and now you know Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, plastic off of this here. This feels very solid. It is a bit heavy, but you know it's going to perform really well just because of the materials alone would act as a heat sink. So it would actually not turn on straight out of the box. Uh, I suspect that it went ahead and shipped with little to no charge. So now that I have it plugged in, let's see if it powers on. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish setting up Windows and install updates, and then we'll be back to go ahead and take a look and see what comes pre-installed. There is nothing preloaded on this laptop other than the drivers, uh, the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packs, and also uh, Office 365. Now I did go ahead and load up Firefox and a couple other applications on it. And this is pretty much the most bare bones preloaded operating system from an OEM that I have seen in a long time. Great job, Razor. On the left side, you have the proprietary power plug, then two USB ports, and then a USB-C port, and a headphone and microphone jack. On the right side of the chassis, you have a micro SD card slot, a USB-C port and a standard USB port as well as a HDMI out and also support for locking up the laptop with a laptop lock. Even under the highest demands you can see that Razer means business with all of this engineered cooling underneath the laptop. This is the proprietary uh, power plug so it's not a uh, USB-C but the construction of it is uh, very solid it's got a very nice thick uh, cable with a very good feel and when you plug it in it is a very nice solid connection you just feel it stick right in no click or anything it just slides in and out it is reversible so you can have a charge from either direction I will say that the feel of this trackpad is uh, pretty much top quality, just like a MacBook. At this price point, it should be, but I still wanted to go ahead and mention it because not all models are created equal. It has a very nice tactile feel. If I physically push down on it to click, you can feel it click, and it glides as smooth as butter. This is the first 4K touchscreen that I've ever used and it is just perfect. It is super crisp, the colors are very vivid, 
just like on the ASUS StudioBook Art Pro 17, everything just looks perfect on this display. And to me, it's just icing on the top that it's a touchscreen. Because this chassis is all aluminum, there is very minimal flex on the keyboard. It has a very good solid feel to it as well, where you can feel each and every keystroke as you're typing it. Also, it is very quiet when you're typing. You would never really notice unless if you are trying to listen for just your fingers tapping on the keys. Now, one thing I'd really like to mention is that the webcam on this machine uh, isn't exactly my favorite. I'll go ahead and show you some of the footage off of it so you can judge for yourself. This is the webcam and built-in audio on the Razer uh, Blade 15 Studio Edition. Uh, model number RZ09-0330. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this little uh, LED light so you can see how much of a difference that makes. But overall it's pretty much just a standard webcam. Tell me what you think down in the comment section below. So if you're planning on using this laptop to do video conferences, I would use either a third-party light to get better lighting or consider getting a much higher grade USB webcam. So who is this laptop for and should you buy it? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the different options there are on the Razer website. So you can see it starts at $17.99. If we scroll on down, it is the Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition right here. Now this has the Quadro RTX 5000 instead of the RTX 3080. Also it has a touch screen as well and 100% DCI P3 color gamut. This means that the color is very bright and vivid and accurate on the display. Now all the models that are offered do have uh, ray tracing capabilities and it also supports USB-C charging. Now the charger that it came with is not a USB-C charger but according to the spec sheet it shows that it is capable of charging using a USB-C charger. Straight from the factory, it is calibrated for the uh, color accuracy of the display. And scrolling down to the bottom here, uh, this is pretty interesting that it does support a external desktop GPU uh, if you wanted to do that over the Thunderbolt 3 port. So what about battery life? Well, if you just have the machine turned on and it's not really doing anything and it is set to minimum brightness, you can squeeze out about eight hours and 45 minutes out of the battery. But as soon as you just start surfing the web, you only get about five and a half hours out of this battery. If you're just playing local video files, this machine can run up to about six hours and 20 minutes playing a 1080p file of uh, Big Buck Bunny. If you have the brightness turned all the way up on the screen, you will probably never break two hours of battery life on this machine, as it does have quite a bit of power and also a lot of brightness in that LCD panel. Now this laptop is geared more towards creators because of its color accuracy and blistering performance. However, it can still game, and probably most any titles that you would put on it, you probably can barely make this thing sweat, as it is really engineered quite well to be able to draw heat away from the CPU and the GPU to avoid throttling. Now, what kind of laptop are you looking for, and under what budget? Go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below. As I do, go ahead and respond to all comments. Now, if you are looking for a new or used or refurbished laptop, you might want to check out some of the playlists that I have somewhere here on the screen. See what other models might be a good fit. 